when you supply multiple curves, it tries and make a surface which fits all the curves, right? So if you have one curve which has 16 control points and a different curve which has 12 control points, it might actually make a surface which has 16 plus 12 control points just so it can accommodate all those inputs. This means that when you actually loft curves which, have, which, have, which look different, which have different sort of shapes and different topologies, the loft result may be quite complicated. Uh, let me hide this so we can see what's going on later. So if I, if I loft all of the actual bi arcs, I might get a surface which is more complex than it, than it, than it needs to be. So let me switch the high meshes here. Okay. Sometimes it, it, it works fine, right? It, it seems that now actually it worked fine. But as I change my ratio, you can see that this surface actually gets pretty messy. There's all kinds of isocurves here, which I didn't expect to see. And in fact, if I bake the surface, press click insert, and hide Grasper for a moment to preview, this thing is a mess. It, it's actually a polysurface, and it has all kinds of really, really nasty slivers here of, of geometry. If I loft the arcs individually, then the loft is always clean, because Rhino knows how to loft arcs in a very, very clean fashion. So lofting these two arcs gives me, always gives me two very clean surfaces, which I can then join together into one polysurface or keep them separate. But this is almost always a better choice than trying to loft the whole set in one go. And, and this is, is not a, it's, it's not a good reason to do this. It's, uh, it, it basically, you have to do this because the loft is not smart enough to figure out what's, what's really going on. So it, it's a workaround for a, a bug, if you want. <laughs>